So sorry about that. It has been a little while since I have recorded any of the Lament of Innocence. But on the bright side, we are almost done. And we are right back into it. So we are at the Dark Palace of Waterfalls. Ooh, yeah, yeah, this place, this place. This place actually has a very interesting character who will be explained a little later. I got my map from uh, CastlevaniaCrypt.com open. I'm all set. So, yeah, a lot of stuff is... Oh, apparently it's been a little... Been a little while since I've forgot about the right stick thing. Sorry about that. It has been, you know, quite a few things have happened since uh, the last recording. You know, uh, let's see. E3 happened. That was cool. Bunch of new announcements, especially the Sony, uh, the Sony conference. FF7 remake, Shenmue 3, and The Last Guardian. That's those are all pretty, pretty freaking cool. I'm especially looking forward to uh, Last Guardian. That looks pretty fun. And that uh, griffin thing looks really cute. I'm a sucker for those things. Anyway. These things. Sahagins? No, Fishman. Another Resident Evil uh, classic enemy. But luckily I brought the whip of uh, lightning. So. Appropriate weapon, I suppose. Let's see. Sorry, and it can't. Need to try to get it away. Alright. So this place has a. Uh, has the last elemental. Uh, ooh, we learned Rising Shot. An upward attack during a jump, so... Hmm. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see. This place has the last elemental uh, whip. It is the... Spoiler alert, it is the Whip of Ice. So, hang on. Let's see. I guess we'll try figuring out where that is. And like I said, there is a very unique character in this area. Another one who will have a cutscene. Much like Medusa, so that should kind of give you an idea of the storyline importance to this character. But anyway, yeah, uh, let's see, what else has been happening? Oh, Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition came out. That probably that probably tells you a little bit of how much I put this off. I, again, I apologize for that. But yeah, I've been playing a little bit of that in my downtime. My week has been a little crazy, I apologize for that. A lot of... Uh, stuff has happened here and there that kind of prevented me from recording here and there. But I uh, know I'm making mistake. I'm making excuses. I apologize. Uh, oh, right. Uh, last time we did this, I actually got another sub item, which was the wolf's foot. It's it's a special relic that lets uh, Leon run and jump, uh, run faster and jump higher, kind of like Air Jordans. <laughs> anyway, so that helped me get. Uh, that helped me get a certain item. I forget what item it was. Hang on, let me see if I can... Oh yeah, I do use my duplication glitch on a few things here and there. Let's see, Whip of Lightning. We had another armor. Uh, was it this? No. I'm sure it wasn't anything important. Or maybe it was. Either way. So yeah, we have about two more dungeons. With this one and one more after that. And then we should be, uh, and then we should be at the last portion where we're ready to go fight, uh, Walter Bernhard and save our beloved Sarah with the help of Seth, or Kano, Michael McConaughey's character. Anyway. Oh, right, 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 another thing, another in-game news. I know, I'm jumping around a lot. Uh, J-Star Victory came out, that was pretty cool. And it relates since, you know, JoJo had its finale. Well before I start recording again. And Joe and uh, Joseph and uh, Jonathan are characters in that game. So, guess who I'm playing as in those games? Uh, let's see, what else? Arkham Knight came out. Everybody losing their shit over that. Uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, Zero Escape 3 has been announced for the next for summer 2016, so that's pretty cool. I've been trying to catch up with the other two uh, notary games. I've already finished uh, 999. I've been putting those games off on my backlog for a while, but now I'm getting started with uh, Virtue's Last Reward. So that should be pretty fun. Pretty, pretty wacky games. Pretty ridiculous in terms of plot and, you know, hijinks and whatnot. I say hijinks. There's murder in those games. Let's see. So yeah, it's been a little while. Again, I'm sorry that it took so long for me to get back on uh, 
Castlevania, but I promise that I'm gonna be finished it with it very so shortly. It's not gonna be another No More Heroes hiatus thing. I promise that. That's never gonna happen again. The Hyrule Warriors thing might be a hiatus thing, or maybe not. I don't know. I, I don't mean for this to sound like a cop-out or anything, but it's basically a Dynasty Warriors game. It's also a Zelda game, so you can probably kind of have an idea of what the gameplay is going to be like and what uh and what the story is going to end up as anyway i know that sounds like a cop-out but i always i keep trying to upload that one episode but it keeps getting like third party matched so and again i don't it's not on a nintendo's creator program uh creators list or whatever that is i, I don't want to fiddle around with that i'd rather not take any chances so i'll probably just stick with for the most part, either games that aren't Nintendo Nintendo, like Shovel Knight. That wasn't a complete Nintendo game, because it's all the all the things. Oh, right, Shovel Knight is actually getting a, uh, ah, we don't need to save. Shovel Knight's getting a physical release come, uh, I want to say it's September. I might have that wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's September. So that'll be cool. So it comes with all the DLC stuff and whatnot, and they'll also have the, uh, the Plague Knight campaign. So that's pretty cool. That'll be... That'll be neat. Again, look forward to the play, to my Plague Knight uh, playthrough of that game whenever that happens. There'll be a no commentary run, so don't worry about it. It'll be the same like I did with the Battletoads in the uh, God of War playthrough. Uh, I'm getting a little sloppy. Yeah, so coming back from this, uh, coming back from Devil May Cry 4 uh, to this, kind of makes it seem a little, A, slower, and a little easier to work with. Been playing as Virgil the entire time, because why not? Because Virgil's the best character in that game, <laughs> is, one of, is the coolest character. Uh, I keep having debates with myself, like, who's cooler, Dante or Virgil? And, it, and it's always so hard to come up with a straight answer on that one. You would say Dante, because he's so devil may care. Because <laughs> he does, because he kind of just, like, doesn't give a shit, he thinks everything's a party. But then again, Virgil has that more subtle, cool bet to him. Plus, he's wearing blue. That's my favorite. Okay, where are we going? Forgive me, it's been a little while. Another marker stone. Pretty sure this was a puzzle. Let's see, what's the map say? Uh, bu 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 bu. I guess we'll go down to the basement level. Let me refer to my map. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not entirely sticking with the, uh, with the mechanics of the game. What I do remember, yeah, I do remember the, uh, what, the Palace of Dark Waterfall, the Dark Palace of Waterfalls being one of my more uh, disliked ver play, uh, disliked dungeons. Like, it's not terrible. It's, it's fine. I mean, the boss here is really cool. So that's, that's a pretty good, uh, benefit. But it's just, I don't know. It just seems a bit, mm, it seems a little complicated in certain parts. Not grotesquely, complicated, but, I don't know. I'm not really having any cohere- okay, wait. Maybe if I- okay, there's ice right here, so maybe if I use the Whip of Flames- yeah, there we go. Melt, you bitch. Maybe I should do something faster. There we go. Where does this lead? I guess this is some bonus stuff. This is the lucky little hammer. Little hammer that grants wishes. Produces money every time it hits. Okay, cool. Well, that essentially makes this that little the little hammer kind of useless considering a you know, I can just copy every single item in the game and just sell it to uh, Ronaldo. And B, yeah, that's that's it also wastes magic, so I don't really need to waste too much MP for that. But still, it's nice to get these little items. It's nice whenever glitches can render like, oh fuck, 
can render uh, regular items useless. Story items useless. Super potion. There we go. <laughs> oh god, it's it has been a little while. I apologize for I apologize for any shitty gameplay. Oh my goodness. Frost demons. Okay, I know what you assholes need. Hang on. There we go. Whoop, flint. All right, fuckers. Michael Sword. Yeah, Fire Whip does do more damage on these guys. It's like Pokemon. It's weird how they incorporate certain uh, elements to this. How certain elements are in certain dungeons. Like, I guess Frost makes sense for a water dungeon, but I don't know. It would seem that more of the enemies would be water-based. But then again, there is no whip of water. That would have been kind of cool. I mean, it's like being whipped by a wet towel. I personally have never had that happen to me, but I imagine that it's not great. Sword of Michael! Yeah! Eat your heart out, Evangelion! <laughs> oh, boy. Again, I, I think it's a cool little, uh... It's a cool little weapon. It's a cool little, uh... Special ability. I gotta watch my hearts, though. So let's go ahead and switch back to the Whip of Lightning. Okay, and we're just gonna avoid these guys. See you! Where does this door go? Need a black turtle key. Okay, hang on, let me get my bearings straight so I can kind of see where this map is leading. Okay. Yeah, fuck it. I don't know why I was looking at the map for so long, I was probably wasting time. Can't waste time when you're busy making LPs. Oh boy, I wasted everybody's time too much by waiting more than a week or two to do get back on this. No, but I, I'm I'm gonna get this finished. It, it'll be finished soon. Again, it'll probably just be about eh, three more videos for the main playthrough, and then one more to show off a little bit of the extra stuff, just a little bit. Uh, you know, like I showed off a little bit of that stuff for the No More Heroes uh, PS3 version, but this one has a little bit in the terms of yeah, we don't. I know, everybody, I know I keep kind of sticking with one weapon at a time, but I like the, I like the cross. The cross is my favorite. It's my favorite weapon. Or my favorite sub-weapon. The crystal just kind of seemed a little meh. And I am getting stabbed a lot, so I need to use my high potion. There we go. Okay, apparently crosses do not work on lizard men. HP max up. Nice. Some more he health. That's always nice. You just gotta explore every little portion of the ca of the castle, I guess? I don't know where this is in relation to everything else in uh, Walter's castle. Because in, the, because in other Castlevania games, at least to the ones of my knowledge, like in... Uh, like, let's see. Like in... Uh, Lament of... Not in Lament of Medicine, that's the one we're playing right now. In... Uh, Portrait of Ruin, uh, Aria of Sorrow, and Dawn of Sorrow, and and uh, Symphony of the Night. It's all in the same castle. There's no teleporting to another section. Like this, I'm not sure where this dark palace of waterfalls is in relation to Walter's castle. Like, I don't know where the fuck everything else is in relation to this. I don't know. Maybe it's in a lower level. I mean, it had to be, if there's all this water and all these casks of wine and stuff. Oh, that's a pretty fucking sick uh, goat statue on the top of that. It's just being held out. I'm not really describing this. I obviously would not be a very good art, uh, art buff. That's why I went with the theater area, not with... Art, because I don't know how to, because I'm not good at drawing. Well, that door's just unlocked. Okay, see you guys. 
<laughs> I love that option. Okay. Switches mean hit them. But then again, you're not stupid. You know what switches do. So that'll probably... So that'll probably... I think that affects somewhere something else in another portion of the Palace of Waterfalls. So let's go ahead and... Where else have we been? Let's see on the map. This map is not being especially helpful. But let's go ahead and follow... Oh, excuse me. Let's go ahead and follow, explore the rest of the uh, second basement, and then we'll go back up to the first basement. And then hopefully I can fight off the ice elemental to get the other whip, the last uh, whip before the vampire killer. And then I'll do even better than I did on my initial playthrough. And that'll be another whip we can use. And then I believe the ice whip is actually how we unlock a certain door in a place that we've already been to. And that's how you get one of the orbs. I think it's the... The lab? I think it's the lab. Yeah, it's it's definitely the lab. I forget what it's called. We've been a lot of Rosarios lately. Rosaria Vampire. That's a weird anime. I never really watched much of it, but I know it's... I know it has a lot of boobs and stuff. Vampires don't need boobs. Not the boobs like that. That's too weird. Did I just go in a circle? Yes, I did. I made a big old circle. So that's probably where the door was opened. Okay, let's go through that last little... Oh, there's a party going over there. Let's go through that last little door over there. And I think there should be something behind it. Of course there's something behind it. We gotta find out. Let's find out together. It's been a little while since I played this game. And I remember the... Ah, it didn't get me that time. Been a little while. And now I'm in puzzle mode. I'm in puzzle mode and I'm in character action mode. Not really in hack and slash mode. Oh, I also recently got... Speaking of my backlog, this probably won't be a playthrough, but it's something I want to get into. I'm probably going to be playing uh, during my downtime, of course. To kind of balance out that... Anyway, you probably don't give a shit. Sin and Punishment is on my backlog that I need to get to. The original one and the star successor. That's probably what I'll be doing. After, uh... Virtue's last reward, and that's how you know I'm padding for inf I'm padding for commentary because I'm just telling you shit I'm probably gonna be doing. Uh, anyway. Oh, uh, since I you know a lot of people have been going on about been watching the uh, Knights movie cutscene. Yeah, I mean, it, I'm kind of looking forward to. Oh wait, hold on. We'll talk more about Knights and his ass later. Or it's ass later. But first, Doppelganger. Yeah, this seems like it's also kind of a staple in Castlevania games, doesn't it? There's always a copy of you- and he's using the Whip of Flames, shit! Okay, he's- There's always gotta be like a Doppelganger- There's always gonna be like an extra copy version of you in a, in a Castlevania game. Fight yourself! You'd think a doppelganger of Leon would be able to handle a crucifix. I mean, he was a crusader, for fuck's sake. I believe in this game there are two doppelgangers, in fact. But this one just seems to like the Whip of Flames a lot. I mean, why wouldn't he? Whip of Flames is pretty awesome. And I'm getting my ass whipped. Literally. Whip me some more. See what happens. He's the Virgil to our Dante, who's also our Dante Virgil. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Jesus! He's a lot better at this whole using the fucking. He does a fire punch too. Why can't I do that? I want to do a fire punch. That looks cool. Oh, you. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah! I gotta use my high potions. You're making me use up all my weapon my items. You dick. Stop doing that! <laughs> Doppelganger me is a dick. Ow! No, you get whipped. Whip it good. 
Can't believe I haven't made that joke yet. Wait, what the fuck? Alright, see ya. Well, let's go after that copying bit. Oh. So, was there no point to this? No, there was a point. That door. There was a door that was not... That we did not enter. So, maybe there's something in there. Let's find out. I'm learning these things again. For the first time, second time. And now, I am pretty low on hearts. And that's not good. I'll need those for the boss. Or maybe I won't. Okay. So this is another... Okay. Alright, alright. That's cool. This is another... Where am I? I think this... Oh. And what is this? Oh, it's another puzzle. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, shit. Get in the door! Oh, fucking dicks. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, 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 alright. Now, ladies. Let's move faster. With the wolf's foot. Now we got plenty of time. Yeah! And now let's turn it off. Ooh, we got the blue dragon key. So that'll be cool. We can go back and get some more secret stuff. This is a double way door. Nope. So we got our blue dragon key. So that should open. Are there any blue dragon doors here? There are not. No, this goes back to the garden. Have we been to the garden? I think we've been to the garden. I'm forgetting my own playthrough. Oh, geez, that's not good. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. So rail section, did you did you did you see this coming? <laughs> you gotta think if Walter like hangs out in this place, he just do this like as a roller coaster. Wee! This is fun. <laughs> like whenever there's no hunters, he just comes down here and he just he's just on the roller coaster. Wee! I'm going down the spine roller the rib roller coaster, the river coaster. <laughs> the rib coaster. I'll think of something. Or maybe I won't. Wow, this is a lot of ribs. A lot of back muscles. Back bones. So we are back on the... Are we back on the first floor? I guess we are. Cool. That was fun. We had fun. So let's go ahead and go to the save room. So we can heal up a little bit, and then we'll move on to uh, move on to another area. Not a another area. Let's let's explore more. Find that special. Uh, find the uh, the last elemental, and then go fight the boss. And then that'll be a video. I think we will made some good progress. How long have we been going on for? About 20 minutes. I'm making some good time. Oh no, how many times? Oh, two hours and 47 minutes. So we're still doing better than my previous time. We gotta beat five hours. I know, I keep looking at the map, but I just wanna make sure I'm not losing anything. Goes two. Ba, ba, ba. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and see what that other door next to the uh, ladder goes to. I say ladder, the downstairs goes to. I've been mixing up my words lately. I bet this wine tastes pretty good. I mean, it looks like it's pretty aged. And I mean, if you're a vampire, you got nothing but time to work with. So ironic that all they can drink is blood. Huh. I guess it makes them seem fancy. Oh, there's a... There's a waterfall. Well, we can't go through there. And I bet you that's where the vampire... That's where the next boss is. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why that's such an imposition for Leon. I mean, it's sure you get wet, you get wet, you get uh, all your nice little gloves and boots wet, but still, I mean, you're on a mission. I think you can, you know, I think you can suffice with a little bit of water on your feet. 
or on well you have it on your feet yet you just haven't got it on your boots or and your gloves your gloves you haven't got any water on your gloves I mean you could do that I mean your beloved's in danger I mean why the fuck not I don't know. I guess blood is the only thing that he's willing to get wet with. Ugh. That's gross. Let's see where this... Oh, floating swords. Let's see where this door takes us. <laughs> I love the idea of just walking past enemies. They're like, alright, we're ready for... Aw, oh, man. He got away. Good thing they haven't evolved to where they can open doors. Oh, it's another switch. Now, thrill as I whip the lever back into place to progress further in the video game. In the room with the large water fail. So we did that. And I think maybe that door with, uh... I think maybe that door... Let's see. The door with the waterfall is down. Let's... Oh, wait. Is there a way I can rotate? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So... Yeah, there's a whole portion of this that we have not checked out yet. So let's go over on the other side. Because according to the map, which I now have properly, uh... Properly angled. I can, uh... Say, uh, a lot. Damn it. I can go see where that last elemental is. Again, this won't be a 100% run. And I think... I might, I might try showing where the last orb is, the one that doesn't, because there's, like I said, there's two more extra orbs that aren't acquired through the natural progression of the story, and that would be, and one of them is through, is another one in the lab, and the other one is from a boss fight, a secret boss fight, but that one is the, supposedly the super boss of this game. So maybe that one, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't, we'll see. I'll have to get good for that one. Oh, yeah. It's our good friend, the Frost Demon, and his Frosty Swords. Let's get our Whip of Flames out. But first... Yeah, you don't like it whenever the Sword of Michael just burns your ass, do you? It's a flaming sword, just like the one in the Garden of Eden. In the Garden of Eden, baby. So let's see. Apparently there's supposed to be a cracked wall at the end of this door. And lo and behold, so there is. Okay. Flip of lightning. Maybe the whip of alchemy? Oh! Well, thank you, Mr. Knight. That was very nice of you. <laughs> okay. I figured that out by mistake. <laughs> Completely on purpose. <laughs> oh, no, that wasn't by mistake. I t meant to do that. <laughs> hey, you... Hey, you learned along with me on that. in that case. Oh, jeez. Let's go ahead and see if we can find that uh, ice elemental. Let's see, where are we going? I keep saying where are we going. Where are we going? Big blue dell. Ding dong dell. Okay. Not entirely certain of what the fuck to do here. Perhaps I can... Yep. Nope. And now I think I'm further down than where I was to begin with. Oh, but there's money down here. There is gold. That is good. That is always good. There we go. This is definitely where the ice elemental needs to be. It's somewhere over that fence. But I just don't know how the frick to get over there. Maybe there's a trick. There's gotta be something to do with this. Maybe if I use the wolf paw, 
But I don't want to waste too much of it. Let's find out. Nope. Hold that thought for just a minute. I'm gonna figure out how to get this. Okay, it was really simple, apparently. Let me see if I can get to where the... Ugh. Apparently it's pretty fucking simple. If I can find out where it was. Yeah, okay, so I'm stupid. Yeah, that's... That is pretty simple. Oh. Well. Alright. <laughs> I guess I just didn't look hard enough. Whoops. But hey, we, we're there now. We're in there. So let's go ahead and get this... We got more HP. So that's cool. And I guess through that door leads to... This leads to the basement floor. Oh no, 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 no. Oh man. It's another roller coaster. No, I'm not really a big fan of roller coasters, but I think I just fucked myself in this. I went back downstairs. That's where these usually go, right back downstairs. I have to go right back all the way up, back to the first floor. Man. Aw, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez whiz, you guys. Well, at least we can enjoy the roller coaster. And watch Leon get hit in the face. Ah, oh, but all that money. I don't really need the money. I have infinite money. I can duplicate anything I want. Yeah, drop this right back up here. Alright, I will. Cut back to where we were when I was in the ice elemental area. Sorry about this. Okay, finally, I am, we are back. Sorry about that, that was very stupid on my part. But we're good, we're good now. Everything's all fine. We are back in the area where the ice elemental is, supposedly, let's see. Okay, no we're not. We're back in the secret area. We had the secrets. So let's see if I can't find the area where the ice elemental is. Probably where all the fucking ice is. Give me a minute. I only found out how to open up the... Find the secret uh, HP up or whatever the fuck. Let me go ahead and look for how they do it on the... Get to the ice elemental. Okay, so, yeah, that, yeah, I was more or less on the right track, but now it's time to get for the, where the camera is apparently your worst fucking enemy. It's time to where that becomes an issue, because, oh, well, I guess it worked for me. But this, that seemed like an area where the camera, having control over the camera would be more of a boon ugh, than a hindrance. Because one little fuck up here means you go all the way back down. Okay. No! <laughs> exactly like that. So, this might require a little trial and error. I fucking had it. It just, I don't know why Leon just decided to jump off in the other direction. Ugh. I guess he's got other things on his mind, like, you know, what happened to Sarah and whatnot. Is she okay? Is Walter Bernhard draining her of her blood right now? Oh, no, we're good. Okay, so let's see. Do I have my Whip of Flames equipped? Yes, I do. Okay. So, let's get some potion in us. Alright, let's go fight this Ice Elemental, and then we'll move on to the boss. Taking a while. Alright, what's the Ice Elemental look like? Something cool, I hope. Ooh. It's Shiva! She's a lady. Okay, that makes sense. I guess out of all the elements, ice would be the most feminine? I guess? There is no wind elemental in this game, so that's generally what... I guess... Mm, I don't know. Oh, paralysis. Okay. She uses an ice sword. That's kind of like that Lords of Shadows ice sword that they had. The void sword thing. 
I doubt that's a reference to it, but, you know. Sur surprisingly enough, Lords of Shadow takes quite a few little hints from Lament of Innocence. Like, there's a character in that... There's a... Walter Bernhardt is referenced in that game. There's also, uh... I don't know. The Ice Sword, I guess? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe I'm just pulling shit out of my ass. I don't know. Let's go ahead and beat the Ice... Ice Elemental and then go fight off the boss so I can... Think of more funnier stuff to say. Again, she doesn't seem that hard, but I guess since I'm using the Whip of Flames, that kind of makes her a bit easier. Not as easy as the Storm Elemental, but not too hard. Yeah! Oh. I guess she got iced iced, baby. No, oh, sorry. Oh. Ow. Whip of Ice. So what does this look like? I don't think it'll be useful for the boss here, but let's find out. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. So we got all the uh, elemental whips. Nice. Nice, nice. Vanilla, nice, nice. Ah, damn it, I did it again. Ow. I need to learn how to stop making freaking puns. Alright. So, let's go ahead and go find that boss, and then we'll finish up the... Dark Waterfall, pa the Palace of Dark Water, fucking the, the Dark Palace Water of Waterfalls. That is what it's called. I'm getting the names mixed up. Yeah. Okay. So let's go down this hallway. So I know this is a weird thing to bring up, but it's kind of weird that Walter would have a place like this. I mean, I know I said the cask and stuff is kind of makes him fancy, and that's also kind of a pull to Dracula who had a habit of throwing wine. But, apparently in certain lore, like in Blood Rain, that one Uwe Boll film, or like in Blood Rain, which I don't fucking get, apparently vampires are weak to water. Like, that's a weakness of theirs. I don't know. I don't even fucking know what that means. Like that, like I've heard of a lot of vampire lore. Like, holy water makes sense, because it's blessed. That makes sense. But regular-ass water? I don't know. I, that doesn't seem right. Crosses would make sense, because, you know, they're creatures of darkness, and, you know, the light of God, or light of heaven, or something holy. Seems like it'd be natural for it to be, you know, detrimental to them. But regular-ass old water? Like, if I just threw a bottle of Dasani at them, would that kill a vampire? That seems stupid. Or maybe it's like running water. Like is spring water like really dangerous for a vampire? Fuck, I don't know. If somebody knows about Vampire Lord, please explain to me, because I don't get it. They're hard H heart max up, by the way. Just a little platforming for you. Like crosses, I get. Uh friggin' sunlight. That's a that's a known one. That's obvious. That's one that's been kind of ingrained into uh that's one that's been ingrained into literature and whatnot for a while now. But, how do I get out of this hole? Am I stuck here? No, I couldn't be stuck here. No, no. Just gonna climb out. Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, what else? What else are they? Garlic. I don't really get it, but I guess... I, I don't really get that one, but I guess it kind of makes sense because we've heard about it for so freaking long. Uh, what else? But regular ass water, I don't, I don't freaking get. I'm sorry, that's just something I don't entirely understand. And I've watched a lot of vampire animes, played a lot of vampire video games, watched a few vampire movies. And I don't think water was ever a thing that happened. That was a thing that hurt vampires. Maybe I'm wrong. So during that whole point when I was like, oh no, I went the wrong way, I ended up on the opposite end of this room, which is a bridge to where our boss is. So pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna try to be quiet. Well, not quiet. I'll again two versions, so you can hear the cutscene version. But this character, oh, it's another cutscene boss, and it is. 
Is someone there? Swords. Are you a prisoner here? No, Leon, he's not. Oh. Who are you? We asked you first. Nice shoes. My name is Ahim Armstead. Now, you might not know it right off the bat, but this gentleman right here is voiced by one Mr. Liam O'Brien. He doesn't sound very much like most of Liam's roles, but that's him. Are you a vampire? No shit. That's right. Away Shut up! Shut up! Damn, Walter. I would have won were it not for his ebony stone. Yeah, he totally doesn't sound like Liam O'Brien. He just... What's that? Well, maybe he's just doing a bit of a different voice here. Beat me! Beat me in my floating swords and my awesome breastplate. It's Teddy versus Akihiko. Let's go. It's original Teddy versus Akihiko. Let's fight. All right. So attacking Jacqueen, he's. This is actually our Virgil character. He only appears once, but this is our rival character because he has. He's a vampire who also has issues against Walter, and he wears more blue than our red. Not to mention, he's also the most humanoid boss that we've fought thus far. Eat Michael's sword, bitch! Oh, that does a lot of damage. But the weird thing about uh, Jacquem, besides, like I said, that he's the rival character, again, he kind of reflects everything that Leon is. And he's a vampire, Leon's a human, he wears blue, Leon wears red and white. Uh, he uses swords, Leon abandoned his sword and decided to go for the whip. You know. He's more cruel, and Leon's more noble and good. Stuff like that. The, the usual rival spiel. At least in certain aspects. Although I'm not entirely as hyped for this fight as I am for most rival fights. Probably because this isn't a character action game, and it's not like... There's not that much conversation between the two. There's only a, like a little bit where he's kind of like, Shut up! You want me to tell you about stuff? I'll fight me. Fucking fight me, human. I'm a vampire. A vampire who got trapped behind a fucking waterfall. Water immobilizes this vampire. Alucard, you are not. You big baby. And he's bitching about Walter beating him. If it weren't for his ebony stone, me, I would have won. I love Liam O'Brien, but this character is a little bitchy. But yeah, oh, if, if it wasn't apparently obvious from what I was doing, you have to destroy these blue orbs before you can actually hurt uh, Jacqueline. You have to destroy those, and then his defenses go down, and then bam, you can just hit him with Michael's sword or with your whip, and bam, dead. Suck it, nerd. I lost to a human. You promised. Answer me. What is the ebony stone? A stone made with alchemy. There's that word again, alchemy. Never-ending darkness in this forest. It's eternal night. But the night should help you as well, since you're a vampire. That's Explain so that. Uses its master. My powers pale beside his. Oh, if only I had the crimson stone. The philosopher's stone. Oh, Jesus. It goes head first. That's not great. Oh, man, that's not great. That's not right at all. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this green orb. Oh, another cutscene. But we just got a green stone. I got a red orb before, but... 
Perhaps Ronaldo might know something. Because of course he would. He's Michael McConaughey. Oh, speaking of Michael McConaughey, uh, the best friends actually did a playthrough of uh, Silent Hill Shattered Memories, where Michael McConaughey was actually the voice of the therapist. I forget what the character name was. Holy Light. Okay. Yeah, that's the weapon. This is the real. This is one that I use for most of my playthrough. The Holy Light. It's a projectile that goes really fast, does a lot of damage. I like it. It is cool. It doesn't look nearly as flashy as the Michael Sword, but, you know. Let's see what uh, Ronaldo has to say. What's up, Ronaldo? I have a question, Ronaldo. Don't you always. You ask a lot of questions. The Ebony and Crimson Stones. What do you have, my two twin tails? What about them? He does have twin tails. You knew about them. Why didn't you tell me? You never asked. How would that have changed anything? <laughs> the night still wouldn't have ended. True, but... Well... I would have told you. But you never asked. And I was shy. I'll tell you now. Please. <laughs> have you ever heard of the Philosopher's Stone? Leon's no, putting on his big boy pants for that one. Making the Philosopher's Stone is the ultimate goal of alchemy. It's also the ultimate goal of Harry it Potter and Edward Elric. Eternal youth. The two other stones were apparently created accidentally. No details of how they were made remain now. I see. That one well, white gauntlet's kind of bugging me because it's got it's way kind of too flappy. It's way too. Uh, I don't know the details. Uh, it turns the souls of vampires into power for its master. These two stones are the vampire's greatest treasures. Cool. Or no, that's Wouldn't not cool. the crimson stone work for humans as well? If all it gave you was power, that might be so. What do you mean? It probably turns you into a vampire. It bears the curse of the vampires as well. I see. Yeah. So humanity... There's no easy way out. There are no greater treasures for those who become vampires. And Walter has the ebony stone in his possession. What about the stone mask with the stone of Asia? It was supposedly That's a pretty good treasure for vampires. But if the ebony stone reappeared, then the crimson stone also have resurfaced. I was talking. Don't interrupt me. I pray <laughs> that it is not here. And it probably is. All right, so does Ronaldo have anything to sell us? Like? Ooh, yes he does, the Moonlight Plate. Is this yes, That'll take care of even more damage for us. Is that all? Back soon. So let's go ahead and, I keep forgetting, I gotta equip it here, because this game has to do that. 20% damage, as opposed to our 10%. All right, so, yeah, we took out the, we took out Jaqueen, our Supposed rival character who is here for all of 10 seconds. Anyway, after we did that, uh, alright. And we also got ourselves the green orb and we got our whip of ice. So we're already we're doing a lot better than how I did on my initial run. I know I keep bringing that up, but it's always nice to gloat about my past achievements. So, uh, let's see. We only have one more orb to go and that's the yellow one. And after that, we can go fight Walter. But, what I'm going to go do... I'm going to call this a video, but what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go back to the lab, I'm going to take my ice and fire whip, and then I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use them to get the one of the secret orbs that I mentioned. And then we'll see about... Uh, closer toward the end of the game, we'll see about using... Uh, figuring out how to get that last secret orb. And then we'll get the yellow orb. And then we'll go fight Walter, and depending on whether I want to fight that secret super boss or not, we'll see. Alright, so until then, thank you for watching.